can't believe I'm saying this, but AI can now edit a full music video by itself. So this plugin is called Auto Edit, and it's actually made by my friend 11%. It's made for Premiere Pro, and it has to be one of the craziest things I've seen this year so far. So here we are in Premiere Pro, and what we're going to be doing here is going to Window, and then Extensions, and then Auto Edit here. And it's going to look something like this. We're going to start off by uploading our song we're going to be using for this essentially and here i'm going to be importing switch by gunner here so import that and after you have imported your audio file we're going to be having the performance shots here so what you just need to do is import the uh, performance shots and here i'm using a tiny tapes uh, music video switch uh, by gunner so i'm going to be using that as an example here but if you go to the performance scenes here i'm just going to be selecting some scenes here you can select even more. I'm gonna choose these scenes here and then press OK. And now it has been importing all of the files here, as you guys can see. And the only thing we gotta do now is just selecting all of our files here, just like that. And then right click, go to synchronize, and then press audio track channel, mix down. So what we did just now is exactly what the plugin says we need to do here. So after that, you press next. And after that, the plugin has detected your BPM, which is beats per minute in your song. So that's going to be showing here. And here you can choose which edit type you want. Stairs, manual, random, and also edit speed, fast, chill, calm. I think stairs is great because then you'll be getting different shots all the time, basically. I think that's really clean. And now when you're satisfied with your settings here, you just press proceed to auto edit. If we make this a little bit bigger right now, you can see it's automatically editing our footage here. I'm not touching anything guys, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> it's literally editing by itself. And now by itself it has literally been <laughs> editing, like it's crazy this. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> like this is crazy. Like all the, you know, all the singing audio is like synced in, <laughs> like that. I, I, I'm speechless to be honest. Like I, I'm speechless, everything is synced incredibly good and like just look at this. Whoa, <laughs> like an AI did this, you know what I mean? Like it's crazy. That is actually crazy. And you guys might have thought, oh yeah, it just ends there. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, <laughs> it's even better than that. You can actually add effects to this as well. So in here, we have the yeah, auto edit function here. We can go to the effects here. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So we can see, and here we can see, we can choose AI or manual. So you can add a bunch of overlays and stuff like that here. I'm gonna choose AI, so I'm gonna, you know, not edit anything myself. And here we could add some light leaks are cool. Film, film burns are cool. I think camera shakes are really cool as well. Low shutter, I think I'm gonna go with those. And then for effect intensity, I'm gonna go with 50% as it is. And then press add VFX. So we got these effects on top of here, as we can see. That's crazy. Absolutely incredible. And that was just the VFX. We can also add a title card to this. So if you press this T here, we could add a title card. Here we have the Apple kind of style. There's a bunch of styles here. I'm gonna use this one here, and then insert playhead. Here we can just edit it. Switch. Then here we can type Gunner. The middle text music video. To make the middle text a little bit smaller. Something like that. Super clean. And then you can just cut it when you want it to end. And here for your name, I'm gonna type my name. Absolutely incredible plugin here. Obviously, there are some things we human obviously can do a little bit better than AI, in my opinion. For example, when we have used the whole uh, auto edit plugin here, we have no uh, color correction here, so that's the one thing we could be adding real quick. So make a adjustment layer, drag it in, then drag it out. And here we could add Lumetri color. And just drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Go to effects controls, curves, make a quick contrast boost like this here. So it looks a little bit better the music video. So this is the before and after here. Just a tiny touch there. I would also personally drag down the FPS a little bit. So go to sequence, sequence settings, 
time base I'm gonna drag down to 24 fps or 25 or something like that that's the best looking frame rate in my opinion yeah this plugin is absolutely incredible now I just you know quickly went through it uh, added the VFX you guys can obviously customize whatever VFX you want to add to your music video that's automatically edited if you want to have film burns light leaks or you just want to have it raw whatever you want but that's the best thing about the plugin that you can choose insanely many you know customizations not only that you can customize how the AI actually edits your video but also the VFX the AI actually adds to it like there's so many customizations and the automation of the whole plugin is actually incredible like i didn't think it was going to be this insanely good but uh, it is so a big thanks to 11 percent for making this incredible plugin here and the link to the plugin is obviously going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out and for me i think this plugin is actually you know ahead of its time in the future i think this is going to be like a essential plugin or something similar like that and if there's any time savers out there, this is it. And I'm not even gonna lie, this is it. It automatically edits your project you're working on, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And yeah, other than that, take care and have a nice day.